Hello everyone, this is Karen from Malfong, your Agile Evangelist and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best way to facilitate a daily scrum as a scrum master, as a dev team member, as a PO, whoever is facilitating the session. I know that there are different ways of facilitating this daily scrum according to the old scrum guide and then the new scrum guide. But today I'm going to be showing you how I have done it. I have done it in many different ways, but today I'm going to be showing you my cool technique that I found really, really effective so that you're ensuring that at the end of the all, your team is achieving value because that's the whole point. The whole point of having a sprint Doing Scrum is to deliver value to your customers, but there are different ways to ensure that this is happening. Daily Scrum is just a part of it. So how you facilitate it too makes a huge difference. So our focus of today is going to be on that. Okay. So let me go ahead and show you. Come with me to the board. Well, so let's assume that this is our standard Scrum board, right? You know that teams configure their board, their columns differently. So in this case, we have four columns. Moving all the way from left to right, we have the to-do column, we have the in-progress, we have in review, we have the done column. As a Scrum Master, if you're facilitating a daily Scrum, I want to ensure that, my whole goal is to ensure that we are achieving done. You see, we are closing out on our work items. We want to st stop starting and start finishing. That's what I want to do. We want to stop starting. I hope you heard that. We want to stop starting and we want to start finishing. So normally, according to the previous Scrum Guide, right, when you're facilitating a daily Scrum, your focus is on three questions. What did you do yesterday? What did you plan to do today? And do you have any impediments? That is the standard on how to facilitate a daily Scrum. But now, this whole thing has been changed because I guess they've seen that it's not that effective, you see, because... Team members tend to treat it as a as a ritual instead of really reflecting the purpose of a daily scrum. So now I am doing it a whole different way. So instead of just going to a daily scrum and asking those three questions, what did you do yesterday? What do you plan to do today? And do you have any impediments? I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be focusing, moving all the way from the right side of the board to the left. That is... The right side is all about the done column. So I'm going to be moving from the done column, walking through the board all the way to the left. That's what I'm going to be doing. So instead of calling people individually out, I'm going to be focusing on the work items. You see, that's what I'm going to be doing. In this case that we already have a done, all the things that are already listed on the done column, I'm just not going to talk about it yet unless team members have anything to contribute towards that. Okay, we will be interested. I will be glad to know. But... I'm just going to focus more on the review because one thing I've noticed is that this re in review column here and in progress column here are usually those two columns that that um, ties us bottleneck, you know, and we will end up with so many items that are almost done. And you know that in Scrum, until it is done, done, before you can say it is done. As long as it is not done, even if it's 99.999% complete, you cannot claim the credit because it's not done, you see. So most of the time, all of the work will be done and then the team members will put it in the review column. It's left for whoever has to review it to review it so that they can now close it out and move it to the done column. But it doesn't happen. And then I realize that at the end of the sprint, we are ending up with so many work items on the in review column and many work items in the in progress column and just one or nothing in the done column. And then we don't have anything to show our customers. That is a problem. So to resolve that issue, what I'm doing is whenever we connect for the daily scrum and then I do my little nice chitty, hi everyone, hope you're okay and your day was good, all of the nice stuff. And then I pull up our board, this is Jira, let's assume that this is Jira. I'm starting all the way from this column here, in review column, you see, and then I'm going to be starting with the ticket that I see there. I would like the team member who is the owner of that ticket, he will tell me, the assignee of that ticket, to talk to us about the progress of the work, you see, and then... This thing doesn't want to cooperate, but <laughs> yeah, so it's going to talk to us about the progress of the work, you see, and we will move all the way. So 
I, my focus is to ensure that we f- we focus our energy to close out to close out more on the work items in the review column and to do more of closing out the work items in the in progress column instead of picking more work items and opening it opening new stories and put them on in progress no if i see that we are beginning to have so many things open here based on our whip limits let us discuss them let us address them and then we are moving all the way you see instead of just talking randomly about oh yesterday i did that today i plan to do this and these are my impediments no let's talk about this and then one other thing too that i like to make sure i'm focusing on is if I notice that a particular work item has been sitting there for let's say two, three days, and I have configured my metrics though to be able to show me, tell me if a work item has been sitting there for more than two days or three days, it will turn red on me. You see, it will turn red or it will turn gray to show that the work item is old <laughs> there. So we can, I color code our bots. I can show you that in another video or join our mentoring program if you want to learn more, you know, on how to, to do that. Yeah, so I will color code it and let's say if that item has been sitting there for more than three days, it turns gray. That already to me is a signal to talk about that. Okay, I'm asking the team member, okay, I notice as you can see it's gray. So what's going on? Do you need help around that? Is that what is stopping us from closing this out? And especially if we are just three days to the end of the sprint or two days, what's stopping us? Let's figure out what that thing is that is stopping us so that we are closing out the items here and moving them to the done column, so that at the end of the sprint, we are having more of complete work items. Until this, we, I see that this is moving, right? Anything that is causing the delay on this in progress and the in review column, especially the review column, I want to make sure that I am identifying those things and removing them so that we can, my goal is to ensure that we have more of on the done column, you see? And then once I see that the flow is moving, then they can do more, they can pull out work now from the to-do to in progress. That's what we are doing. So if I start seeing this list getting long, that's a problem. If this in review too is getting long, it's a good and a bad thing. It's a good thing that the team has actually done the work and it's only left for review. And then if it's getting too long and I see everywhere start getting grayed out, it's a problem still. Um, then we need to have a conversation. So that is how I facilitate my daily scrum. So again, to summarize everything I've said, to successfully facilitate your daily scrum, to guide your team towards accomplishing outcome at the end of the sprint instead of output, what I do is I move, I walk the board, I guide my team for us to walk the board all the way from right to left, starting from the down column in review, Focus on the tickets. Let's discuss the tickets so that we are ensuring that we are making progress, you see. And yeah, and then we focus on progress and like that. That's how I guide my team. And at the end of the sprints, we're, and then doing that a couple of sprints, it will wire the team's behavior to start seeing the importance of outcome instead of output because most teams are really used to output going by the waterfall way of working. But now we want outcome. Even if you're 99.999% complete on a particular work item and it is not done, you cannot claim the credit. So as I'm guiding my team after some couple of sprints, they will get it. And then... When we connect for a sprint, a uh, daily scrum, they already know the, 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 the deal. Now they will start talking about the tickets moving all the way from the right side of the board to the left side of the board. So in a nutshell, that is how I successfully facilitate a daily scrum. And I hope this video was helpful. If you're looking for more practical content, subscribe to our backup channel, Being Agile Consulting Remix, just in case you haven't. There, we are giving practical real-life tips. If you're not subscribing to that channel, you're missing out, okay? And it's all completely free, free of charge. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel as well, please make sure you do. Go to our website, check out our programs. We have upcoming classes for those that are looking to be trained to get into the agile space, those that, are, those that are already trained and they are looking for mentoring and coaching to land their jobs, we got you covered. If you are already on the job, you're looking to add value to your organization, we got you covered. If you're looking to take a safe training certification, we got you covered. If you're looking to move up the career ladder from a scrum master to an agile coach, you're looking for mentoring to land your, your agile coaching role, we got you covered. Please reach out to us. Visit our website. 
check right up there. That's our contact information on the description box. You can also find our contact information. Visit our website and enroll. If you have questions, feel free to call us and we'll be more than happy to assist you regarding this video. If you have questions regarding this video, the comment section is for you. Use that comment section, drop your thoughts and we will continuously learn and grow together. See you in the next video.